Uh, Some of us were not Another Chicago call. This one is from Louie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's you. Uh, hello. I am an atheist, but I wasn't right. born that way. Just Party on, on note. Okay. I've got a philosophy of religion class, and the teacher put up a couple videos for us to watch. One was Carl Sagan explaining the Drake equation, and the other one was somebody else with a video called The Privileged Planet. And oh. it's just about the statistics of how likely it is for there to be life. Wait, was your, was your professor pushing creationism on you? Because the privileged no. planet, okay. No, <laughs> the, the question that came after both of those videos was, so what? Okay. And this, the, the first video with Carl Sagan came out with a probability of like maybe 10 planets with life at some point in the existence of our galaxy. Uh, and then the other one uh, was something something else that had like 20 more variables in the Drake equation. Right. And I, I don't understand how those variables can be in one equation and not in the other. I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't you want to use the same equation to figure out that? Well, out? the Drake equation is, is uh, kind of a, a scientific guess, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's, right. A, it's a it's a it's a a sequence of probabilities that you multiply together to 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 to, to maybe arrive at what what's the likelihood of life or intelligent life in the galaxy or universe or whatever, and 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 all you know the the term the, the existence of those terms and the the numbers used for those terms are all guesses, right? They're all just, you know, what we think might be, uh, you know, given certain assumptions, what's likely to happen, and and um, they may or may not be right. You know, it's all sort of a matter for debate. But but I, that's probably the best thing we have as far as figuring out whether there's you know extraterrestrial life in the galaxy or the universe is 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 this sort of educated guess. Yeah, they're they're educated guesses, sure, but I mean I'm reminded I, I read a book by Nate Silver called The Signal and the Noise where he was talking about the ability to figure stuff out based on uh, uh, probability calculations. Mm -hmm. um, and what he said is if you're dealing with a really unfamiliar uh, uh, set of unknowns uh, you know your your prediction can only be as good as your uh, you know as your inputs. And when we're dealing with other life in the universe, we have exactly one example of life uh, evolving in the in the known universe, and that's On a us. Planet, right. Um, we don't really have any way of figuring out how likely it is to happen elsewhere. And uh, you know we can come up with educated guesses, but it's a lot like why didn't we predict 9-11 happening, for instance? It's because well, that sort of thing never happened before, and so there's really no way of making an estimate of its probability. Well, the, the second video's equation uh, yeah. on the privileged planet, it, it had, like, the first same three variables, mm -hmm. and then it had a bunch of others, like uh, us, we would have to have our specific kind of sun, and it has the planet has to form so that we have tectonic plates and have an iron core to create an electromagnetic field. Um, I feel like all of those things would happen normally given the composition and the, the manner of the development of the galaxy. I feel like our solar system would, would form very much the same as any other solar system, you know, simply because it's the same galaxy for it. I, I don't think and, there's any and, way to know that. I think we'd have to know enough about uh, planets well, I mean, and other know, solar systems. The most common elements in the universe, and they're the same as the most common elements found on our planet. Sure. And it, and it seems to me that the, the, the variables in the second equip I just get a bad feeling when I see them. It's an uneasy, doubting well, feeling. You know, you, 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 it's good to question things. It's good to question the Drake equation and, and the assumptions that went into it and, and see, you know, see... Uh, how sensitive the answer is to the assumptions, and and in this other equation, whatever whatever they added on, you know, be be skeptical and ask why is that there? Why is that important? And and maybe it isn't. You know, if we're just talking about intelligence at the end of the day, we're interested in how how intelligent life comes about. Well, you know, plate tectonics may or may not be that important to that, right? Um, right. 
So yeah. we, do, we don't know that life necessarily has to be made of carbon. There could be like, you know, silicon life forms, or there could be clouds of intelligent gas in, in a gas planet somewhere. For all we know, we haven't seen any. <laughs> Uh, and we don't know how likely that is or how possible it is, but that's one of the big things we just don't know. Yep. All right. Well, that, that's awesome. Uh, I guess I don't really have anything else to talk okay. about. Uh, okay. Thanks for, your, thanks for your time. All right. All take right. care, man. Thanks, Bye. man.